Hey guys, it's me, Cindy. I was looking for a balloon or a whistle to blow, like one of those blowy things, because it's day 70. Woohoo! Seven zero. It has been 70 days since I've been meditating for one hour a day and making a video. 70 days, that is almost three months. And on this, my 70th day, I want to thank the Academy uh, for, no really, I want to thank Kyle, Cease, and the Evolving Out Loud team and crew and community for just inspiring me to continue to keep this commitment because I see you all making commitments and changing so much and doing what it is that your heart uh, says to do rather than what the fears say to do or the mind chatter or the you know, the, the, the ego stuff. Uh, we know ego is healthy for certain things. However, if it's driving you, uh, that is not always the most, the most healing for you in the long run. And as I'm getting ready to launch my personal training business online, my fitness training business online, I notice that a lot of these, and there's a lot of them out there, a lot of ways to do things, a lot of, you know, the business strategy and this profile and this, um, way to uh, get new clients and get people to your page and get people to to notice you and here's how you make your brand and here's and if I and I get a lot of emails hey Cindy did you get my free chapter on blah 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 you know people I don't even know and then, of course, there are some people that I call acquaintances because I, I've met them sort of online in certain communities that we were in. But I can smell it. I can smell when somebody is coming from, I am going to do A, B, C, and D to make money so that I can, you know, be rich or whatever it is. Uh, I don't operate that way. I've never operated that way. And that's probably why I'm in the position I am now, 30 years later of training, because way back when people said, oh, you should make videos. Oh, you should do bodybuilding competitions. Oh, you should do this, do this. And it just never, it never drove me to, to do that. And, you know, sometimes I think back and I go, well, if I had done those things way back when, you know, endorsed a product or made videos or, you know, did any, you know, open my own studio or any of those kinds of things way back when, maybe I wouldn't be in the position I am today, uh, which is still, you know, trying to make a living, going door to door, working with clients one-on-one. -on -one. However, back then I just didn't feel it. I just, I was like, no, no, no. I'm not interested in making videos. I'm not interested in endorsing these products that to me are mostly bullshit and they don't work. Like how many more ab, you know, machines do you need? And the answer is zero. So 
I don't know, it just didn't feel authentic to me. It didn't feel like my integrity. I took my career very seriously. I took the way that I worked with people very seriously. And almost to a fault because I was more concerned sometimes about them than they were about themselves. Or I was more committed to their process than they were committed themselves. And then, you know, I get sometimes angry and resentful. But but now I'm ready. I'm ready to, to take this business and everything I, I've learned, everything that I've taught for... 30 years and reach out to the masses and say, hey, I know a thing or two about this and um, and I want to share it with you. So, so yeah, so I'm doing that and, and uh, uh, creating that and meeting with people who feel in alignment with me that way rather than people that are like, okay, you know, Give me all this money and I'm going to take you through the steps to do da da da. Uh, I'm, I've never been a uh, formula kind of gal. I know there are formulas that you need and paperwork and visions and all that kind of stuff. But if somebody just throws a bunch of papers in front of me and says, uh, fill out this and fill out this and fill out this or follow these steps, I, you know, sometimes fall asleep because I feel bored by those questions and I feel like, oh, but I'm so much more than that. So anyway, so there's, there's a balance to it is what I'm saying and I'm finding that balance. So, uh, so yeah, that's what I am creating, working on this week and which is almost the end. It is Sunday night. And, uh, and, you know, keeping up with the dates. <laughs> okay, have a good night. Bye.